Hi Scorpios and a warm welcome to you. Let's have a look what the month of August has in store for you. So let me shuffle the cards. And I'll take three cards. So let's have a look what this spread reveals. Oh, wow. What a beautiful card. The sun, the seven of pentacles and temperance. Wow. This is an awesome spread, Scorpio. How exciting. There's some wonderful things that are happening to you this month, but I don't want to keep you waiting. So let's get right into it. Let's have a look at the sun. So the sun stands for positivity, for fun, for warmth, for success, for vitality. It radiates optimism and positivity. On the card here, we can see a large bright sun shining into the sky, which represents a source of all life on earth. So then we have four sunflowers here that grow tall above a brick wall, representing the suits of the minor arcana and the four elements. Now, the wall is not a hindrance to the flowers. They stand tall above it, radiate also their, their warmth and their joy. Um, then we can see a naked child on top of a white horse. The child represents the joy of being connected with your inner spirit and the nakedness is a sign that he has nothing to hide. He is innocent. He is purity. Um, the white horse also stands for purity and strength. And the red flag that the child is holding basically means that it brings love and joy to everyone around him. So this is a really, really beautiful card. It represents success, radiance and abundance. It gives you strength. It tells you that no matter where you are or what you what you do, your positive and radiant energy will follow you and bring happiness and joy. People are drawn to you because you're you can always see the bright side and you radiate this warmth. You're charismatic. You bring joy to other people's lives. This beautiful warm energy is what will get you through rough times and it will help you to succeed. You share your highest qualities and your achievement with others. Show people who you are, what you stand for. Share your love with those that you care. If you're going through a difficult time, the sun will tell you what you have been waiting for. Things will get better, a lot better. You discovered through the challenges along your path exactly who you are and why you're here. Now you're full of energy and anticipation for the future. You're within an arm's reach of success and abundance flowing, flowing to you. You're optimistic and confident because you know everything will work out. It always does. Life is good. The sun connects you to your power base. It's not driven by fear or by ego. It's driven by the abundant inner energy that radiates through you right now. You can feel it in your gut or in your solar plexus. Be yourself, be authentic and fully present. You have what others want. Radiate your energy and share your good vibes in a big way. Express this power in a positive way. This is an energetic card. You can expect to experience an increase in physical energy, vitality and general positivity. You're bursting with enthusiasm. You're invigorated. You feel on top of the world. Um, as we say in Germany, um, you feel as if you could rip out trees. If you're looking for a new job, this, this heralds that there might be a new job offer or an attractive new opportunity on the horizon. It signals success and achievement at work, um, that you have an increased sense of confidence in everything that you do. You will be recognized and rewarded for your work. Everything good will come to you because you're completely in sync with what you're doing. Don't forget to share your success with others. Praise your team or your co-workers. Tell others your success story to motivate and to inspire them. Now, financially, 
the sun also means happy and better outcomes, positive outcomes. Investments might do very well or your savings can increase. Finances are a form of abundance. And even if you're currently struggling financially, don't forget to be proud and positive about the changes that you have made so far. This is a great time for dating uh, and meeting new people if you're looking for love. You may meet someone who makes you laugh and with whom you can enjoy spending time. There is a lot of positive energy around this relationship and meeting this person will make you feel much better about yourself. If you're already in a relationship, the sun means that you both enjoy each other's company and energy. You may spend more quality time together. Perhaps uh, you might go on a vacation together or enjoy life's simple pleasures, going out for a meal, going to the cinema, going out for a picnic or doing things together. Don't forget that the sun also stands for freedom and liberation. So don't forget to give each other some space when, when, when you need it. So if you have a separate hobby, um, allow the other person to, to have their own hobbies as well. Because if you have some things that you don't do together, it will also give you more things to talk about. Now, the sun can also mean in a rela that you have a great relationship with a, with a young person. It might be a, a child or a grandchild, a niece or a nephew. This is going to help you to rediscover your inner child and find your sense of fun, fun once again. Enjoy every moment that you spend together with the young people and harness their positive and their optimistic energy. Don't worry about how you look or what others think. Just be yourself. Be a child to yourself again and just have fun. So the next card we're going to look at, what a beautiful card as well, the Seven of Pentacles. This is a great card in, in your spread, especially following the, uh, the sun as well. It stands for long-term view, for sustainable results, for perseverance, and for investment. So the, the Pentacles is a great card. Uh, it's, it usually, it's, you can, it relates to your finances more, to your work, and to your material possessions. This card shows a man who leans on his hoe, and he's looking down at his abundant crop. He has worked long and hard, and he's sown the seeds, he's nurtured the plants, and now he looks down on, on this abundant crop. So I just need to make sure that I that you can see the card properly. <laughs> He's, he, he might, he looks a little bit tired or, or contemplating, um, probably even exhausting. Um, but now is the time that he can take a break to enjoy the fruits of his labor. So success comes from hard work and patience. But this card reminds you to take care not to overdo it and exhaust yourself. Now, there is a famous quote that comes to my mind, basically says, before the reward, there must be labor. You plant before you harvest, you sow in tears before you reap joy, which is really sums this card up really, really nicely. It indicates that you know that you need to work hard for your results later. You understand that you have to put in the time and effort to achieve things and you want to invest in your future. You're not looking for quick wins. Um, filter the opportunities that you have. Put your attentions on the right areas and don't waste time and effort on something that does not bring in the results that you expect in the long run. This card tells you to look at the bigger picture. Be proud of how far you've come and assess your progress. Basically, work smarter and not harder. Ask yourself, are you on the, am I on the right track? Am I focused on the right things for my goals? Weigh things up. Uh, don't put your heart and soul into something if you won't get the rewards for your work. Some areas in your life are just energy snappers. They don't get you anywhere. So you're just working towards something that is not going to give you the expected results. So just drop those things. 
If you've been working hard or putting the extra effort into something challenging and important for the last few months, um, this card is telling you that you're close to getting the rewards. You might be frustrated and exhausted, but rest assured your hard work will eventually pay off. You're likely to see financial or other tangible result, results for all your hard work. Don't give up. There is a tendency to doubt that your efforts are really whether your efforts are really worth it. Um, just be patient. The results are often not as fast as we expect them. Um, obviously, if we're waiting for something, we want it to happen right now. But this is not the case, not with this card. It basically means bide your time, wait for it. It will come. So if you are if you are trying to hurry things along, it's the same like planting a seed and then digging it up after two weeks uh, or, or two days to make sure that the plant has, has started to grow roots. This is not going to get you anywhere. So don't cut any corners. Be patient about everything and you will see things happening. If you have expect expectations that are, are unreasonable, like if you want to lose weight, well, you're not going to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. So if you started a diet or, or you want to run a marathon um, after two weeks going to the gym, these are expectations that are unreasonable. So you're, you will not get the rewards if those are your expectations. Just be grateful and focus on the present and do what you can with what you have. The rewards will come. In terms of career or work, this card suggests that you are investing in long-term commitments to improve your career. This could be that you're at university working towards a career, that you're doing courses, um, that, you're, that you're furthering your education to better yourself, uh, to put in the time and effort now to reap the rewards later. Scorpios need work that gives them a sense of responsibility. Maybe you want to build your own business or, or you want to study, you want to become a researcher or work in a leading position. Now, these things can take a few years. They're not going to be done overnight. But for you, it's more satisfying to do something like this, to work with long term goals, than continue with different jobs that simply don't fulfill you. If you're already an established career or business, the Seven of Pentacles heralds profit and growth, and especially if you worked hard to, to get where you are. Now, you could also be an excellent time to start planning ahead for the next, say, five to ten years. But be clear about your goals and how you can reach them. Financially, this card is asking you to save for a rainy day. Now, not only for, for emergency, this is more meant that you might have to invest in your long-term plans to set you up well in the future so that you can go on courses or, you know, help you along paying somebody else to do some work to free you up to do something else um, that you might have to invest in a bigger venue or that you have to buy some equipment. So I would suggest work on a three to five year plan and work out where you need to spend your time, your money, and your energy. Um, you might find that your long-term investments begin to increase after a period of steady growth. So this is not going to be a thing where you start some, something new and bang, you, you've made it. You're going viral in two, in two hours. This is not going to happen. This is planning for, for the long run. Now, when it comes to love, uh, Seven of Pentacles is a really positive sign that you're on the right path to finding the right partner. But again, it might take a little bit longer than you expect. They also might take longer to develop, or you may need to be more patient to find a partner who matches your criteria. Basically, you, you might meet several partners before, and it means that you might have to kiss a few frogs before you meet your king or your queen. Every step that you will take will lead you closer and closer to your perfect relationship. So don't give up. The wonderful thing about being single is that you get to meet different people who seem to teach you many things about yourself. They might not be perfect matches, um, particularly attractive or romantic, 
but they will be an essential part of your journey towards the person which is right for you. So you're heading in the right direction. If you're in an established relationship, this card shows that you value your partner as someone who's most definitely worth your time and energy. You see a lot of potential and promise in your partner, and the more time you spend together, the more you get out of this relationship. You know that the relationship itself is, is a journey, and you have to work on, on this relationship to make it successful. Again, like sowing the seeds and waiting for them to come to fruition. This is a goal that not just you, but also your partner wants. So if you're both prepared to put in the work, you can build a solid foundation that will stand the test of time. If you're undergoing a difficult patch in your relationship, this card is telling you, don't give up. Keep on working on it. You might have a quick break, but you and your partner still have sufficient energy to keep working on your relationship and then watch it grow. You need to accept that not all relationships are easy and it will take time to build and to develop a, a relationship, to build up trust, to get to know each other better. So be prepared to keep trying. The key here is to remain patient in the short term, knowing that you're working towards a longer term goal. So let's get into the third card, temperance. Temperance is a large winged angel. He's neither mas masculine nor feminine. The light blue robe signifies trustworthiness and reliability. And the tri a triangle is stands for, for humans, which is bound by the square, which is for nature. And uh, well, for nature, for, for earth and for the natural law. The angel is standing with one foot balanced on the rock, which basically means the need to stay grounded. The other foot is in the water, which means you need to go with the flow. The water between the two cups, they are a, signal, a symbol of, of alchemy, of, of flow, of life. And there in the background, we see a lovely winding path going up a mountain range, which represents the journey of life. Now, the golden crown, which is radiating this golden light here, is a symbol of taking the higher path and staying true to your own life purpose and meaning. So stay true, be true to yourself, stay true to yourself. So what does this mean to you, Scorpio? Temperance basically means that you need balance in your life. You need to be more patient and more moderate. Um, you are often misunderstood because you may come across too intense. You speak the truth, but it often comes across as being harsh to some people because you have a powerful presence and you can be quite demanding. In reality, though, you're very emotional and you crave intimacy. This card is asking you to bring balance and patience and moderation into your life. You are being invited to stabilize your energy, but at the same time, you need to go with the flow without trying to resist or fighting against it. Get your life back into order and balance your work and your social life. You might be working too hard and your so social life is suffering. So don't allow this to happen. Try and keep a balance. Take a little bit more time off. Don't work three hours after work. Um, go home a little bit earlier. Have a drink with friends. It also tells you um, to remain calm even when, when things get stressful or frantic. You are great at keeping cool. So keep your cool. Manage your emotions. You know how to compose yourself in stressful situations. So just don't allow the little things to get to you. Stay composed and just let it go. Classic example, this happens to me as well. Sometimes when somebody cuts me off or, or something, I'm in the car and I'm, I can feel, I'm like, Ugh. and then my kids once turn, my, my, my daughter once turned around to me and she, and she said to me when she saw that I was getting really angry, she said, mom, he can't hear you. And anyway, he doesn't care. He, he can't hear you. He's only, he's in a different car. The only thing that you're doing is you're giving yourself a heart attack. This guy does not care. And this is exactly the thing that this card is trying to tell you. Let go. 
you know, just say, okay, well, this just happened and I just need to let it go. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bite, bite the bait. I'm just, I'm okay with it. It doesn't mean that you agree with it, but it just basically tells you to remain calm. So take the middle path and, and just be open to all perspective. You don't know. I don't know whether this guy in the car had to rush to an emergency and, and maybe he was worried or something like that. So yeah, we need to look at, at different perspectives as well. Um, temperance tells you that it's not the time to be highly opinionated or controversial. This is especially true in your work situation, but also in your social life with your partner. Avoid extremes. Uh, keep the peace. At work, try and moderate between co-workers or employees if you see that there are problems. And try and create a harmony and a cooperation. When you're working together with somebody, whether this is at work or at home, you can achieve great things with the right mix of talents. Um, other people have different experiences, different abilities, different skills. If you can spot those and bring the right people together, then you can share, then you can achieve some really, really great goals. Now, this card, like I said before, with the two cups also represents alchemy. This is basically what it's saying. It's blending, uh, mixing and combining different elements to create something new. And something that is more valuable uh, when it's together than each separate part on its own. Um, this card also tells you that you have a clear vision of what you want and what you want to achieve in the long term. It's telling you to not to rush things. Don't use shortcut. Don't cut corners. Take your time to do your best. Whether this in, is in, in, in your work or in your relationships, whether this you might be very competitive, just keep it moderate and let your goals guide you. It's a card about learning. Uh, learning about yourself. You're at peace with what you're doing. You learned a great deal until now um, because you've been on a long journey. And now is the time that it's all coming together well. Your inner voice is guiding you to the right outcome. So all you need to do is to be patient, to listen and to follow your inner guidance. Stay cool and collected at work, even if people are pushing your buttons right now. Just be patient, um, especially when you, you have quite high expectations. So if you get frustrated when people don't live up to your expectations, just keep it calm. You can also act as a mediator or somebody who brings people together. Um, I've talked about this earlier. If you are thinking about a career change, it's a time to re-examine your priorities. Consider what you need to change to make this balance work better. If it's a new job, for example, does it mean more work and less time or more time and less money? Is it more traveling? Um, is it working unreasonable hours? All these things you should weigh up. So what what is what is it that your long-term goal is and then work towards it? Scorpios have a tendency to put work above their personal goals. Um, that can often leave you feeling that you're burnt out or exhausted. Again, you need to find this this balance of trying to trying to to cut the cake in in equal portions, so to speak. Now, this balance is also about harmony in life, to avoid excesses. Um, don't overdrink, overeat, overexercise, or do anything in excess. Um, do everything in moderation, and you will have a healthy lifestyle, basically. When it comes to love, you may want to find a relationship that has the potential for marriage, you have assessed your, op uh, your options and you understand your strengths and weaknesses. You are ready to commit. You know exactly what you want. But when you're looking for the special someone, be gentle. Don't rush. You're on the right path and you will be rewarded. Again, remember that you might have to kiss a few frogs before you find your queen or your king. Don't lose faith. 
Um, don't lower your expectations and settle for anything less because you're just dragging out the process and that right person might not be away, uh, uh, there for you anymore at that time. So if you're already in a relationship, this is a positive sign that you're well suited to each other. You know exactly what you have in each other. You appreciate each other. And even if you have, have your differences, you recognize that there is a beautiful synergy bet between you and your partner and your bond becomes even stronger. So you're going from strength, uh, strength to strength, basically. For those of you who are just ex experiencing a rough patch in your relationship, try and focus on creating balance and keep calm. Keep things moderate and you will move forward. The key here is to compromise and cooperate. This is the only way forward to avoid conflict and arguments. If you can both agree on this, you can knock any arguments on the head before they turn into a bigger problem. So even if we want to shout at your partner, this card wants you to stay calm and patient. Look at your long-term future together and don't argue over little things. I have a friend, for example, um, where they have traditional roles. She's the housewife, the mother. Her husband goes out to work. He's the provider. Now, She's also working at home. Um, she's doing some, some work from home. But nevertheless, sometimes, um, when her, when her husband comes home and he's had problems at work, he might be in a, in a, in a bad mood and it's not very pleasant to, to be around. So we talked about it and where I would go, Hey, what's wrong? You know, is it anything I did? Is there anything I said? Like probably most women will do. Um, she is as cool as a cucumber. She does not say anything. She just lets him go about. And then a day or two days later, he will actually come down and talk to her and appreciate and say to her without her asking, Hey, I, you know, it was really cool. Thanks for, for being so understanding. You know, it was something that happened at work. Um, this is basically what it's, what, what it's all about, how you can over, overcome some, some conflict and send your relationship on a, on an easier path. Scorp Scorpios, they are often brutally honest to the point of where they can hurt people. They mean well, but sometimes it's, it's actually better to bite your tongue, not just to keep the peace, but just to get back onto the right track. And again, this is going to, to serve you well in the long run with your partner. So, Scorpios, all in all, you have a wonderful and exciting month ahead of you. So, let me know in the comments if your reading resonates with you. And like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more guidance and celestial, celestial wisdom. And until then, have a great day.